And that is, that's the big kicker, right? Is that this was an abnormal event that happened. So therefore the body is gonna respond in a way that we might not be familiar with. But the really great thing about this is that we now have decades of research and brave, brave people who've come out and shared their experience. So now we know what, what uh, are normal responses to abnormal events. Um, so always shout out to those, those brave people. So whenever we talk about trauma, one of the big things is understanding that trauma is really about perception, right? So it's not always about the reality of something. It's about whether you perceived that someone was going to die in front of you or whether you perceived yourself to um, be um, almost dying, right? Whether you thought that your life was in danger. It's not always something that we choose, right? Our brain just automatically does it. And so that's the reason why people can come away from big things like a car accident um, and say, oh, you know what? The entire time I felt like I was on a roller coaster. It was great. There was nothing to, it wasn't that big of a deal. It didn't impact me. And it might have quite literally not impacted them in that way, right? But let's say someone um, had a fender bender and that triggered a response of, oh my goodness, this is it. It's the end, right? Regardless of their, their feelings about it, the reality might be, you know, they, the, their car was hit at the back and, and that's just all that it was. Um, but if that perception is there, then we will go into some of the responses that we'll talk about. So um, just meet that with a little bit of grace, right? Because sometimes we have a lot of judgment on should we be feeling a certain way? Should we not be feeling a certain way? Just know that it's really not about our choice in this. It's actually a different part of our brain that's engaged um, in order to keep us alive.